Hello. Hi. How's it going? Today we are playing Crow Story, which is a indie platformer puzzle 3D and most importantly free game that's currently on Steam. And the reason we're playing this today is because my original intention was to make a video about super people. You know, the brand new Battle Royale that just came out. But as soon as I logged in and I made my character, I saw the interface. I saw all the customizable attachments and weapons and all that stuff. I was like, this is too complicated for a video. So today I figured we kind of slow things down a little bit and play something more casual, more, more easy, more easy going. So let's play some Crow Story and it's about a little crow that has to go to the top to save their friends, right? <laughs> yeah. Escape or start to skip. I'll pass. I'll pass on the skipping, please. Here we go. Game saved already. Well, duh. Okay, apparently going... Going backwards just makes that little weird thing hop up. Okay, spacebar jump. Spacebar's cool. I got a double jump. So it's very simplistic from what I'm seeing. The use of the mouse to control the camera. Jump, right? Game saved. Is that a wall jump? It is a wall jump. Oh, that just makes it nicer. And left shift to dive. Okay, so from what I read in the patch notes on the Steam page, that's all you have. That's all it really is to it. You just have two buttons, which is the jump and the dive. Let me just pull up the Steam page real quick. Doo -doo -doo. Right. So it says it right here. Jump, dive, and platform through this minimalistic indie 3D platformer about a little crow trying to save his friends. Let's progress through a series of levels in this 3D platformer to reach the top of the tower and discover the mysteries, the mysteries, the celestial owl, and the fate of Kuro's friends. My friends are dead. That's what's going on. My friends are dead. Okay, so the wall jumping is nice. It's fun. I like it. It reminds me of Super Mario 64. If you guys have played Super Mario 64, it has wall jumping mechanics. It's it, it's a crow. It's a crow. But this little crow character reminds me a lot of the penguins from Super Mario 64. You know, same eye shape, same dimensions. What's this? Whew, okay. So you can fly. But yeah, there's allegedly a bunch of shortcuts you can take in this game for you to discover. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'll find them. Okay. In, okay, okay. I just have to dive in this one. Now I know. See, no one tells you. No one tells you. No one t No one tells you that the floor is about to start collapsing. Easy peasy, right? Checkpoints. I feel like a game like this without checkpoints would probably be very hard. Right? Yeah, cool. There's some weird cubes up top. Let me let me come back to those. Let me try coming back to those eventually in the future. At one point in time. Just not now. Because now we are here. Well, technically we're getting closer to the cubes. Okay, this one's tricky. No. How about wall jump? Wall jump? Yes. So, jump, wall jump, jump, dive. Yes. Oh, that was close. That was close. And now for this one. E easy. Okay. You know, first level, you really can't expect too much from the first level. They're still trying to teach you the basics. They're trying to teach you how to play the game. So they can't go all out with all their, all their stuff. Okay. Two doors. I'm guessing that's the end of the first level. Music is relaxing. I really enjoy the music. You know, I, I was expecting to go full on battle royale, you know, high intensity gaming, but this is a really nice change of pace. Okay, now we have a little booster pads things. Yeah, little booster pads. How am I going? To okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so jump, jump, dive. Whoop. Whoop. Got it, got it, got it. Yes. Let me get this checkpoint just in case. Can't, no, I can't control when this happens. I'll just kind of just, I just let it fly, basically. Because I, I wanted to see what's inside the little circles. And like, what's over there? What What is over there? Can I go over there? Well, I'll figure that out later. Oh god. No. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Let's try that again. One. Two. Okay, now we got it. Oh god. I No! I press the button. I press the button. One, two, three. And now we're landing here. Yep. Can you, can you imagine fall damage? That'd be fun. Okay, so it's not moving. So I just have to... Giggity. Awesome. Now we land here. Take us to the roof. What? Forward. And then more forward? Uh, let's just, let's just try it. Oh, I see what that... Momentum. I see it. I see what's going on. Okay. And they're trying to explain momentum with as with as minimalistic as minimalistically as possible, right? That's what they're trying to do. So that's what they mean. Okay, so if I just stay here. Awesome. Easy. 
Easy peasy, boys, right? What? I don't think they meant for me to do that, but... <laughs> okay. Okay, we still got it, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they didn't mean for me to just do that. But on the developer page, they say it right here. Eight beautiful levels, boss fight, several unlockable skins, story sequence cutscenes, platform base obstacles and challenges, and the most important one, totally intended shortcuts for you to find. So this is the perfect game if you want to try speedrunning. I've never really been good at speedrunning. I've never actually gotten the chance to do any sort of speedrunning. You know, it's just I've never really been interested in it. I've never been interested in the speedrunning community per se, at least being part of it. Um, it's fun to watch people just like optimize a game to crazy levels and beat things as fast as possible, but I've never really been that sort of guy. But you can tell that this game was... This game has speedrun potential, you know? It has speedrun potential. And I think on the main menu, when you look at the skins, the skins are unlocked based on your completion of the game, like based on the time. So they definitely had speedrunning on their mind when they made this game. Just out of curiosity, what's in here? Nothing. Oh, wait, wait. No, they wanted me to go here. Yeah, they did want me to go here. So that way I can do this. <laughs> Steven, you're a genius. Genius. <gasps> the cubes. I'll finally get close to the cubes that have... They don't really have anything, do they? It's, it's just a cube. It's just a pretty little cube in the sky. It's a beautiful cube. Damn. It sucks to not be a cube right now. Anyways, moving on. Level 2 complete. Time for level 3. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, let's go. So, last level they introduced the jumping mechanic. Now we have these flying discs. Now, just out of curiosity... Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, you, you, you perish! You stop existing if you touch them. Okay, I just thought they would just slightly push you away to the side. You know, no harm, no foul, get out of the way. But no, it's a it's a lightsaber. Clearly, that's that's a lightsaber that just cuts you in half. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ah, lightsabered in half. I got Darth Mauled. Okay. Now I can do it. Boop, boop. Yes. Yes. Later, nerds. Checkpoint. Make sure you get the checkpoint. I was like, where's the checkpoint? I don't see it anywhere. Now, imagine you're just flying and you just accidentally get Darth Maul in the face. That'd be, that'd be fun. You know, a situation you have no control over. There's a laser in your face. You die. Okay, let's try this. Easy. Boop. Oh god, the momentum! Whoa! Gotta be careful with the momentum. Oh. Gotta be careful with the momentum. <laughs> boop, boop. I... Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. No, I was... Okay, I gotta stop. No, no, okay. We just chill, relax, Steven. It's a casual game. A casual. There we go. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Hi! Let's go. And... Whoa! Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Once the momentum hits, it gets a little tricky. It gets a little tricky. Not impossible. It's just, it's just like weird. Oh, oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, this one looks tricky. Oh God. Wait, no, I have the checkpoint. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna do all that. I have a checkpoint. What, am I, what, do, you, what, what do you think? What are you thinking? Puzzles, man. I'm actually a big fan of puzzle games. I think Professor Layton was the last time I actually played a puzzle game. Very fun, very enjoyable. Highly recommend. Professor Layton series for the Nintendo DS and 3DS eventually. All right, that one, that one took us a while. It took us a little while to figure it out, but I really thought we just had to go to the top of the tower. Okay, so here we go. Another momentum based one, I think so. Yeah. Ah, magnificent cubes that hold nothing. What are your mysteries? What do you hold inside your vast emptiness of nothing? We may never know. Moving on. Okay. The the tone changed, the music changed. This looks a lot more darker and grim. Huh. We've replaced the cubes with cylinders. Cyl are, no, those aren't cylinders. Uh, don't want to get made fun of due to my lack of geometry skills, but those are definitely a geom geometrical. Ooh, my friends. Compatriots, this is just sad. Holy crap! I think I think this is a boss fight. It's an owl. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, just did. Okay, bye. Oh, that is sad. I got knocked out. Am I still falling? Yes, I'm still falling. Now, did I fall out of my own accord or was I pushed away by the gust of the wind, you know, from the wings expanding? Was I so terrified that I decided to just yeet myself out of the situation? Or was there really something else going on there? Let's find out later. Right now, we just got to think about getting out of here, which I think we got to go this way. Okay, so here we are. I have to go save my friends, man. Clearly, they are in quite a predicament that I, and only I, can rescue them out of. Oh, the god, this looks good. Oh, complication times 100. But we're, we're experts. We're experts at this, you know? Been doing this for years. What are you talking about? They really just took the penguin from Super Mario 64 and gave him all of Mario's abilities. Like the wall jumping and the diving, and that's it. No, this is this this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> tricky, come on! What are you talking about? We do this every Thursday, every Friday. You know, Friday. By by the time it's Friday, you're already tired, so it's okay to mess up a, a few times. You know, long work week, late hours. That's a disappearing one. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Oh, pixel. Buy the pixel. Here we are. Never had a worry in my mind, except in how do I make it over there? Of course, of course, diving. The type of energy I'm bringing to this video game is completely unwarranted, because, you know, everything's so calm and soothing and relaxing, and I'm just here being loud and freaking out over the most stupidest. There has to be, yeah, there has to be something else. Um, okay, let's try this. Of course! By God, he's figured it out! By God! He's died to the- Wow. Okay. Still here. Yeah, I think I could have made it all the way to, like, the, the star beam thing. Let's find out. Yes. Awesome. I underestimated my ability- Spheres! Ho oh, ho ho! Forget the cubes, have you ever been inside a sphere? I don't think you've been inside a sphere. What mysteries do you hold, oh great sphere? Never mind. Never mind. Intermission over. Woo! Oh, if you press Q, you get... You do little chirpy sounds. I accidentally press Q instead of shift. Shift is a dive button, so... The controls are pretty easy. Wasati, with W-A-S-D, I just call it Wasati, to move. And then space to jump, double sp double jump by double spacing, and then shift to dive. Lol. Lol. And apparently Q, this is a little cute little thingy. But, 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 check this out. So I'll just do this. And then, ah, there we go. Momentum cancelling. Sweet. Let's get out of here. I think this is level number five. These look like very similar. They're, they're very similar to the other levels. Yeah, this is basically the other level I was at before. Well, I guess it makes sense, you know, because I was yeeted from the from the roof, from the ceiling. Except the little caveat is that they're a little bit more difficult than they were before. You know, there's more pillars, more lightsabers crawling around. So it's technically a different level, even though it's the same. So that's the whole issue with the, like, the whole thing with the collapsed pillars, you know? I'm guessing when the Great Owl, the Celestial Owl, did its giant wind thrust thing and just knocked a bunch of crap down. Oh, there's one. Okay. Right, so they're disappearing now. They're not... They don't move. Things are changing. Times are changing. So I gotta measure this right. Oh, crap. Okay. Maybe from the... Yeah, I think from the center? Yeah. So from the center of the platform is when you can actually jump. If this one's the same, no, this one's more far away. Yeah, this one had to be from the from the border, from the edge. This one from the center, right, I'm stepping on the center, dive, it lands perfectly, it lands up perfectly. Right, this one also has that property, so... Right, perfect. But this one, I have to go to the edge, so I'm gonna do this. Yep. Okay, okay. I know you're a flightless bird. Actually, no, you're a crow. Crows are perfectly capable of flying. I know you look like a penguin, which is sort of like a flightless bird. But trust me, 
you are actually indeed, in fact, a crow with the ability to fly, so these things should be of no issue to you. Crap! Crap! Where am I going? <laughs> that was worse than when the giant owl just yeeted me out of the... Whatever that was. Actually, now that I think about it, I've never seen a crow walking. And this crow is walking like a penguin. Look at this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure crows don't walk. They, they, they hop, right? I think that the crows hop. That's what they do. Like, there's only a small speed, a small number of birds that actually do the cr the walking. Most of them just hop. So, I don't know, man. I need some answers. The celestial cube awaits us. Oh, this one has both moons facing the same direction. If I'm not mistaken, I thought they were facing, like, separate, right? Is this, is this some sort of indicator? There's the asshole. There is the asshole. We'll come back to this. We'll come back to this, I swear. Just give me two seconds for me to make my way up there. But you will have a taste of what vengeance is. Like, he's probably watching me from his little tower top. Just mocking me, watching me fail. But that's fine, that's fine. This is what we've been waiting for. We've been preparing for this moment, you know. I'll accept the ridicule. I'll accept the mockery. If it means finally getting my revenge and- Hold it! Finally be getting my- You must think yourself so clever, huh? You must think yourself so clever designing these levels just to mess with me. But I will tell you one thing. I will tell you one small thing. You're an asshole. <laughs> I have no response, man. <laughs> I will have my vengeance. Let's do it. You thought yourself so clever and yet here we are ready for the final bout between you and I. I will save my friends, Charlie. They're all called Charlie. Oh. You just made it for me. You just made it so much easier for me. Oh man, there is nothing better than indie music. Indie boss music? This is the best thing in the world. Easy. Okay, what is this? What is this rock? Do I have to do something to the rock? Do I. Oh, diving. Diving. Oh, I see. Da 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 Useless. Useless. Damn it. <laughs> okay, there's two heights to these attacks. Good to know. Bro, did you think you had a chance? Against the master- wait, 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 let me see, what's this? <laughs> Your precious rock is mine. Okay, one more. Bro. <laughs> You're really up the difficulty at this time, huh? It's fine, it's fine. I'm totally, to totally capable, physically prepared, mentally fortified for whatever it is you throw at me, man. I am so done with your, your little shenanigans. How the hell am I gonna get up there, though? Do I- oh, okay, there's a little platform. Cool. Anything for friendship, even- even fighting a cosmic being. No, no. <laughs> I got it. Even if it takes destroying a cosmic entity, I will save my f- Ow, wow. He really just- I'm sorry. Uh, no, wow. I thought he'd just like fall or something. No, not fall. I thought he just- I thought he would just like- Yeah, I thought he'd do that first. But not fall a hundred meters into the floor at terminal velocity. That just looks painful. Wait, wait, no, he didn't die. The power of friendship saves the day once again, right? Right. We can, just, we can just attribute this to the power of friendship. Power of friendship. Let's go. Friends! I've liberated you from the evil of the anti-friendship and the lightsabers that don't really shine or, or are lightsabers in the first place. But I've liberated you. Now let us be crow penguins together. Right? Or crow penguins? This is cute. Holy crap, this is cute. Ah, the power of crow penguins. I'm guessing these are the credits, right? I'm just expecting the credits to show up any moment now. Or a boss fight or something. Ow, 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 ow. You know what? Let's go over here. This is so cute. This is actually the cutest game ever. You know, it's casual. It's relaxing. It's free on Steam if you guys want to play it yourself. So it's definitely a very refreshing break from all the 
hyper violent, all the competitive, all the cracked gameplay that you see out there. This is fun. Okay, so Kuro is the default skin, right? My best time was 34 minutes. Hey, not bad, right? Not bad. Complete in 30 or less to unlock these two, Lunar and Solar. But let's see. Blue Jay, Cardinal, Canary, Grape, Mountain Climber, Super. That looks fun. I can't see these, but I'm assuming that, you know, you can, you get them and they look like Lunar, like the Moon, uh, final boss, and Sun, the Solar, as like the other boss. So that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I'll probably try to play these. You know, this is this looks like the perfect game to speedrun. Uh, really fun to play on stream. I might actually stream this. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.